In this video, we're going to be going over some new analytic tools that TikTok recently added and how you can utilize those for your business. Okay, so I jumped over on my screen now and you guys should see my TikTok now. What we're going to be looking at first off is the new analytics that are inside your actual post. So if I click on one of the videos here, I'm going to click more data in the bottom right. And there's a couple different things that are new here. So if we scroll down, you will see something that says top words used in comments. Now this is so brand new that it's not populating them yet, but I'm guessing within the next week, it'll start populating these and you can see what people are talking about in your comments. So if certain words or certain topics or things you say in your videos, people are talking about in the comments, you're going to see those words here. And that can be a great insight for knowing what type of content they're actually interested in or even what parts of the video or things you are talking about spark interest or could be controversial, different types of things. So it's great to be able to see that now and hopefully it'll start populating, like I said, within the next week or so, this is brand new. So that is one of them. Now under this engagement graph we have, we have the retention one, we've had that for a while now, but we now can click over to likes and we can see where on videos people liked the video. So you can see a lot of people initially about, looks like 25% just first second like the video. And that's pretty normal on any social media. If you have any size following, they like your stuff immediately. But you can see if you were to ask for likes, if that is actually affecting people leaving a like or interacting with your content. So let's say I know in this video at 45 seconds or 50, that I said, if you guys are enjoying the video, like it real quick for me, it helps, blah, blah, blah. I can see that spike and see how much it actually is affecting people engaging with the video. So that is another great tool to be able to have. And another cool part of this graph they added is you can see, if I go over back to retention, this little thing that says view more details, most viewers stopped watching at one second, see the moment where most viewers lose interest. I can see on this graph, say, let's say I have a spike. This one doesn't have one, but let's say I have a spike where people drop off heavily around 25 seconds. Well, I can click this view details button and it'll show the retention graph over the actual video. And I can fast forward to the moment and see, and I can actually see what was being said, what was shown on this and maybe understand why the people dropped off at that time. So that can be really helpful in understanding where people got bored. Um, should you include a better hook there? Or if you lost interest at a certain point, why was it? So that makes it a lot easier to figure that out. Now, one more tool on the actual video performance they added at the very bottom, you can see your traffic sources. And if you don't see all of these, let's say you only see like for you following and personal profile, which is normal for a lot of content. When you get more views, you'll start seeing more of these. So for example, we have search and under search, you can see 300 impressions in the last six days. If we click see more, it's going to show us where we're ranking for these search terms and how we're performing for, um, where we're ranked. So for example, the first thing I'm going to look at is we have 300 impressions in search in the last five days, and we could change this, but this content's only five days old of those 300 impressions. We have 247 clicks. So when people are searching, whatever they're searching to find this, we can see that they're clicking on it a lot of the time. Our click through rate is 82.33%, which is very high. And we can see our average position for the terms that were being searched for that found this is 11. That means if someone searches, they have to scroll past 10 pieces of content and then they see ours for that search. And I'm guessing this is including all search terms that we're ranking for and that we got views from. And one thing I do hope they add is the different keywords that you are getting impressions and clicks for if they meet a certain threshold, maybe if you're getting 10 or more views for them, whatever it would be, however they want to set it up because search isn't a huge factor, but for some niches it can be. So this I think can evolve a little bit more into a more useful tool, but it's pretty cool to see how well your click through rate is. And if your click through rate seems pretty poor on these, then either your content isn't relevant to what the person is searching, but still coming up for it. Or the image, your little thumbnail is not captivating enough for them to click on. So that is something you could work on a little bit more, maybe adding text on the screen if you're not already for whatever that thumbnail is on TikTok. And one other tool. So we're on the performance tab on the top left here. If we click over to the right to viewers, 
They did add one thing where you can see viewer types. So you could always see followers versus non-followers for this individual piece of content. But now we can see the two different viewer types. So returning viewers or new viewers. So for returning viewer, it's the percentage of viewers who have viewed a piece of your content in the last year. And then new viewers, are just someone who hasn't seen your content or is seeing it for the first time in over a year. So that can be beneficial for understanding the content and if it's catering towards your specific audience, if you're reaching a completely new audience with a piece of content, or if you're reaching your normal one of people who don't follow, but they've see, they keep seeing your content. And if you do have something where it's a lot of returning viewers, but not a lot of followers, then maybe you wanna include a call to action getting them to follow since they're seeing your content multiple times, they should probably follow you if they're enjoying that content. So it can be great to put a call to action in there as well. Now, the last new little tool that they have, they had something similar, but this is a little different now. If we click the hamburger, go to creator tools, and it, if we scroll down, we'll see creation inspirations. So I can see posts that are similar to me, that my followers viewed, and similar creators. So similar posts or posts where your followers viewed, we know that they're probably interested in. This is a great way to come up with content. Uh, we can sort it from recommended or trending. Trending will be more popular type stuff. I usually don't utilize this as much, but under recommended, the followers viewed or similar posts. I like the followers viewed most, but you can see what other content is performing well in your niche and a lot of your followers are interacting with. And if you were to post a piece of content like that or model something off of that, then you're probably going to reach more audience that is similar to your current following. And if you click into view all here, you can just scroll through and see this. You can save it or watch it for later. So if you just click the little save button, you can save all these and go through and see why they're related or why your viewers are following those. And it's a great way to come up with different content ideas. So those are TikTok's new tools. A lot of them are very useful and can be great for understanding your audience and how they're interacting with your content and how you can improve your content as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tired of feeling overwhelmed with marketing your small business? Let our experienced marketing team help your business grow. With personalized strategies tailored to meet your needs, we'll help you stand out in a crowded market. Contact us today for more information at foxsocialmedia.com.